दिस इज डॉक्टर मोजम टिवाना हेयर एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेडियो एक्सेस बियर विच इज़ नोन एज रैब एंड रेडियो रिसोर्स कनेक्शन आर आर सी इन द थ्री जी यू एम टी एस मोबाइल नेटवर्कस नाउ वी नो दैट वी कैन यूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वॉइस एंड डेटा सर्विसज ऑन अ मोबाइल एंड दीज सर्विसज कैन बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू फोर कैटेगरीज एज फार एज दी यू एम टी एस इज़ कंसर्न फर्स्ट क्लास इज दी कन्वर्सेशनल क्लास एंड इट रेफर्स टू द वॉइस वेदर इज इट इज़ द सर्किट स्विच वॉइस आर इट इज़ दी पैकेट स्विच वॉइस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम यूजिंग स्काइप इट इज़ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पैकेट स्विच वॉइस इन दिस केस इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू प्रिजर्व द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी आर गम गेटिंग फ्राम दी नेटवर्क लाइक दी फ्रेम्स आर दी पैकेट्स दैट वी आर गेटिंग फ्राम दी नेटवर्क द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दैम मस्ट नॉट बी disturbed or must not uh, there, this means that it should not be like that some packets we are receiving earlier and some packets we are receiving uh, with more delay that case it is each case it would be difficult to reconstruct the voice so there is a constraint on the amount of delay that we can have on the frames so and we in this case we can also uh, we can also tolerate uh, some bit error but it should be less than uh, this bit error should be less than uh, 10 to the power minus 3 means in 1 in 1000 bits can be in error uh, and there we would not notice significant degradation degradation in the voice quality then we come to the streaming class in the case of streaming class uh, i can exa- give the example of for example you are using the uh, youtube on your mobile in that case the video uses the streaming uh, service in order to uh, show that video on your mobile in that in this case also we need to preserve the time relationship between the packets that are coming from the internet uh, but the bit error rate must be lower than the conversational class like it can be in the order of 10 to the power minus 6 or less than that Uh, and then we come to the interactive class uh, i can for the interactive class i can give the example of uh, online gaming for example um, or when you are browsing the internet in this case response time is very important that response time should be uh, as fast as the possible when you for example when you request a web page uh, it should be displayed uh, without any delay or with very little delay and it is also uh, important to conserve the payload that the information that you are getting it should be uh, without any errors and then i come to the background class background class means for example i am downloading a file or i am sending a receiver or receiving an email in that case it is not important whether the packets come uh, with same delay or with variable delay Uh, some if if some packets come much earlier and some packets come with a bit of delay it is uh, not very important because in the end uh, the important is that we receive the uh, all the message similarly uh, there is uh, not too much constraint in terms of the packet delay because uh, even mm, because if at times packets are com- coming quickly and if they are coming uh, with delay uh, that doesn't bother us too much uh, in this case that is why i called it as the background best effort because uh, these service can these services can run in the background so uh, as we see that for these four classes of services that umts is supporting we need different quality of service we have different quality of service constraints uh, in terms of bit rate in terms of delay in terms of time relationship between the information so how does a umts uh, network manage 
all these different quality of service constraints on different uh, services. So in order to understand that how a network manages uh, to, provi uh, to provide quality of service of, for all these services, we have to understand the concept of bearer service. Bearer uh, can be thought of as a point-to-point -point link between two entities which is provided by a protocol. Or in other words, I can say that a bearer is a pipe that has a cer certain bit rate and it has certain characteristics. So bearer is a pipe which has certain bit rate and which has certain characteristics. For example, here a mobile is using a service from the internet. Uh, for example, this mobile is browsing some uh, website. In that case, the service it is getting, it is from the internet to the user equipment. This means it spans this entire uh, these entire network elements the service spans from the user equipment to the pdn but in order to support this service we need two bearers or two pipes one pipe is umts bearer bearer service which is from ggsn to ue this means that it spans uh, entire uh, network from the inside and then you have an external bearer service this means this pipe uh, extends from the ggsn to the pdn but to support the umts uh, bearer service we need two bearer services or two pipes one is the core network bearer which is from ggsn to sgsn and second one is the radio access bearer which is from the sgsn to user equipment and this radio access bearer is further divided into iu bearer and the radio bearer which is from the u trend to the user equipment and it radio bearer is further mapped to logical transport and physical channels uh, which we discussed in the previous lecture now uh, we will focus more on the umts bearer service and the radio access uh, we will focus more on the radio access bearer and the radio bearer service why, uh, the question arises that why it is important to concentrate on the radio access bearer which is known as rab and the radio bearer service it is important to concentrate on them because these pipes are basically uh, transferring data with certain quality of service constraints on the air interface and as we know that on the air interface it is difficult due to the particular nature of the uh, wireless channel to meet those quality of service criteria so it is important that how these radio access bearer service uh, and the radio bearer service they manage that quality of service on these bearers so it is important to study them now i come to the radio access bearer the radio access bearer is basically a pipe that is from the SGSN to the user equipment for the packet network and for the circuit switched core it is from the MSC to the user equipment and this radio access bearer has a certain bit rate it has certain characteristics uh, and the establishment of this radio access bearer is requested by the SGSN uh, in the case of packet switch network and MSC in the case of voice switched service uh, radio access bear it is requested and it is ultimately the UTRAN that uh, implements or that establishes that radio access bearer so the request is made by SGSN or the MSC and radio access bearer is established by the UTRAN. 
So radio access bearer is the highest level of bearer service exchange between core network and the user equipment. Its request is made by MSE or the SDSN and it is established by the UTRAN. Now when MSE or the SDSN makes a request to establish a radio access bearer, it also specifies the uh, co uh, characteristics that must be uh, met by this radio access bearer to support a certain uh, quality of service. What are those characteristics uh, that are requested by uh, the MSE and the SGSN in the radio access bearer? Uh, these characteristics are maximum bit rate. For example, uh, when we talk about the video streaming, we can have uh, different uh, data rates. For example, YouTube video uh, is in different resolutions. Uh, for if the channel conditions are really good, we can have a high rate video having more resolution, so bit rate would be naturally higher. Uh, but if the channel conditions are bad, then we may lower that bit rate uh, to see that video. So maximum bit rate is the maximum bit rate that a uh, service may use for which this radio access bearing bearer is being established. And then we have the guaranteed bit rate. Guaranteed bit rate is basically the minimum bit rate that a service requires. That means that below that bit rate uh, that service won't function properly. So. Uh, third is the source statistics. Uh, this statistic, uh, for example, if it's the speech traffic, uh, then in that case, uh, we can very easily ju judge that what will be would be the bit rate required depending upon the particular uh, what is the upon the nature of the speech. We we can judge that. So, source uh, statistics descriptor basically. Uh, define that uh, defines how much bandwidth would be required um, by a particular service. Third is SDU error rate. SDU can be thought of as a frame or a packet without uh, overhead uh, bits. So, uh, so what? Uh, so here. In this, uh, one of the characteristics of the RAB is that what is the maximum allowable error rate in the SDUs. And then uh, we have the maximum SDU size and uh, what is the maximum size of the SDU and what is the transfer delay that can come in the, these SDUs that these SDUs must not be delayed by this amount. So uh, MSC specifies these characteristics for the bearer and these uh, the, uh, for a particular service and this is established by the UTRAN. So here are different data rates for different bearer services. For example, if we are using speech, then basically we are using the AMR compression to compress the speech and in uplink, uh, we have the 12.2 kbps data rate and the downlink we have also 12.2 kbps data. So this is for the circuit switch means this bearer is established on the request of MSE and with the MS, uh, M between the MSE and the uh, mobile equipment and for the packet services uh, we can have 60, a bearer with 64 kbps in the uplink and 64 kbps in the downlink a bearer with 64 kbps in the uplink and 128 kbps in the downlink with 128 kbps in the uplink and 128 kbps in the downlink and similarly we can have multi rab or multi radio access bearer means a mobile user can be assigned multiple radio access bearers like a speech of 12.2 kbps and 64 uh, kbps of uh, channel for the data service like if i am using the mo mobile for in a uh, circuit switched call but I am also using some data service I would need the multi RAB in that case. So uh, a mob so this means that that a mobile may be assigned more than one RABs for 
मोर देन वन सर्विसेज दैट इट इज यूजिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस वी आर सींग दैट इट इज इट इज हैविंग टू रैब्स फ्रॉम दी सर्किट स्विच कोर नेटवर्क एंड इट इज हैविंग टू रैब्स फ्रॉम दी पैकेट स्विच स्विच कोर नेटवर्क एंड वन रैब इज फर्दर सपोर्टेड बाय आर मैप्ड इन टू रेडियो बियर that is from u train to the user equipment and the iu bearer which is from the u train to the uh, core network now we come to the u train model in the u train model uh, rlc layer and the mac layer basically correspond to the second layer of the osi model if we compare it uh, this u train model with the osi model and the physical layer correspond to to the first layer of the osi model and rrc layer are the radio resource control layer corresponds to the third layer of the osi model so here we have a user equipment or mobile and here we have the u train it would be interesting to tell you that this physical layer on the u train tra side is basically implemented in the node b and these uh, and the other layers these layers are basically implemented in the radio network controller so for example this mobile wants to transmit some data to the network so first of all it needs to establish a radio resource uh, rrc connection with the network r so that rrc connection is uh, basically established by establishing the si signaling radio bearer Uh, with the network so in order to uh, connect um, uh, make an rrc connection in the network the rrc entity basically establishes a signaling radio bearer with the network and once that's this signaling link is established after that it establishes the radio bearer on which the rab service runs like after the establishment of radio bearer it will establish the rab service on this radio bearer now we come to the functions of the radio resource control layer which is present in the user equipment and the u train uh, rrc layer Uh, in the case of rnc basically resides in uh, in the uh, on the u train side rrc resides in the rnc and in the mobile we have also the rrc entity so whenever the mobile wants to connect to the network or the uh, network wants to the connect to the mobile in that case rrc entity is used first for example if the mobile wants to connect to the network this rrc entity would first uh, make a establish a signaling radio bearer with the network and of uh, and this process procedure is known as the rrc connection management and after the establishment of the signaling radio barrier uh, bear, bearer radio access bearer would be established by the rrc so that the actual information that Uh, can be transferred similarly the major movement reports are also uh, are also uh, handled by the rrc for example when mobile is uh, basically making the measurement report it is uh, made by its rrc entity and what is the measurement report measurement report is basically uh the power levels of the of the current node b as well as the neighboring node b's that this mobile is measuring that how much power it is receiving from the current node b and the neighboring node b and also that if this mobile is connected to the current node b are there bit errors uh, on the uh, in the communication between the mobile and the network or not Uh, so this information is basically consolidated in the form of a 
measurement report and then it is sent to the network and then this uh, measurement report is interpreted by the RRC entity in the radio network controller. Similarly, if uh, there is a call for, for the mobile station, in that case, it is the RRC entity that pages the mobile uh, about the incoming call. Similarly, the broadcast information uh, that the node B or the network is broadcasting to mobile mobiles which are in the area of this radio network controller that information is arranged in the form of system information blocks or in other words we can say that it is scheduled in the form of system information blocks and this procedure is also done by the RRC. Similarly, if we have a data connection with the network like we are using some data uh, service, in that case the link between the mobile and the RNC, RNC is a point-to-point -point link. So in that case we do not need the uh, extra information that is uh, for the routing and which is present in the header of the uh, IP packet. This means that we can compress the IP packet using the PDCP protocol, Packet Data Convergence Protocol. So this mobile station, uh, the R, rather the RRC entity of this mobile station is compressing the uh, IP header and sending this information to RNC. Similarly on the RNC side, this RNC is compressing the header of the IP um, and what why we are uh, and then sending it to the mobile station why we are doing this compression we are doing this compression because we don't want that this extra information uh, uses the wireless bandwidth uh, on the air interface because it is a very precious and very expensive resource Thank you for your attention. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. channel.